Hey there, another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm back at the whiteboard answering a question that I've gotten from a few folks, which is talking a little bit about the different parts of our platform that we have available today. Um, and so as uh, many of you who have spent a lot of time with the platform, who are looking at the platform sort of new, uh, you're, you're sort of faced with a, with a decision. Uh, and this decision uh, is uh, as you're deploying instances, uh, you may see the uh, choice from a pull down of do I deploy classic mode or do I uh, deploy resource manager mode. <clears throat> And if you remember back a few episodes, and we can you know, reference it below, perhaps uh, I talked a little bit about the new Azure Resource Manager release and some of the things that it comes with and sort of how excited we are. A lot of this is sort of the update of our control plane, update of the operations and the way in which we take operations to deploy instances, whether it be NICs or virtual machines or storage accounts. And the benefit that we've added with this is actually a few things that's just worth kind of reiterating. Um, it's really pretty exciting. One thing is it's all template-based, right? And this is all uh, JSON, uh, JSON-based templates, and so makes it really easy to get like complex things deployed uh, and launched. Uh, we have a great one with Datastacks as an example. Um, uh, we're working on actually a few others, uh, both uh, internal and external-based applications. Some really great stuff for multi-VM templates. We also have actually more than a hundred now uh, templates available on GitHub. We'll put a link down below. Remember all the links that I'm making them put below. Uh, we'll put uh, a, GitHub, a GitHub link down below to show you sort of all the templates that people have built. There's a lot of uh, great sort of work going on there. And so uh, this is really cool. It enables uh, really complex stuff to be built. Um, on top of that, actually very granular role-based access control is available through this. And so you can actually buy operation and buy control. Uh, you can actually uh, access uh, specific controls per people in your organization using sort of Azure Active Directory for this. You also, of course, can tag resources. And this now is supported through the billing pipeline. And so you will see those resources tagged, showed up uh, in your bill once, uh, once it sort of comes out on the other end. And so this is some, some really exciting stuff uh, that, that um, uh, really makes it possible uh, to deploy some great stuff and manage it, of course, is sort of what this work is. Um, on top of this, with the templates, you also can deploy lots of VMs all at once. Um, lots of VMs. Um, uh, which is really fantastic English, uh, but you can deploy a lot of VMs all at once and they sort of uh, will parallelly deploy, uh, which is uh, significantly better than what sort of the, the existing is. So this is kind of the positives. So if you come to me and say, hey, which is what the questions we've got, hey, when should I pick which? Uh, the answer uh, really quite simply is, for the most part, you should always choose the resource manager side. You should always choose sort of the new, the V2, um, uh, and take advantage of some of these capabilities and solutions. Uh, it will end up being a, a lot easier over time. Um, obviously, new features will end up going in that direction. It is the future of the platform. But just you know, to be sort of uh, uh, upfront about where we are, um, some of the things that are worth kind of calling out um, uh, today, and obviously the team is actively working on adding this support, um, express route and user-defined routes <clears throat> are uh, on the classic side only, and they haven't yet been added to the resource manager side. That, that work is coming. It's imminent. Uh, and so you'll see that, that technology light up very soon. Um, and so uh, it, these are two uh, current, uh, current solutions that are only available on the classic side. Uh, but obviously, once they move over uh, and the support is added, uh, of course, they will be fully templatized and, and supported in that way. The other aspect, of course, is that the, the classic experience, there's a few additional things in the portal experience. Uh, a great example of this is we do have gateway support. Uh, uh, for the resource manager. It's not yet in the portal experience, so you have to deploy it either using sort of a template um, or PowerShell um, or sort of the Azure CLI um, and, uh, and deploy it that way. And so to get a gateway going, it is supported, but you have to use one of these mechanisms. The portal support is also coming very, very soon. Um, and so gateway is available on both, but it's only available portal on the classic side. There, there are a few sort of additional small uh, 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 odds and ends uh, that, that we're still sort of adding as part of the resource manager, but the primary aspects of sort of the decision point of which to use should be these. Um, and so again, I come back to the answer, very much should be move over to the resource manager side. You'll see a lot of great, uh, great solutions, additional ISVs are writing their applications to the solution, so you'll see more and more of these start showing up that are actually geared towards taking advantage of that. Um, and of course, the whole platform is moving in that direction. So really only if 
you have immediate need for some of these solutions that are available in the old way, uh, would I say go go sort of using the classic way? Um, and uh, and then in those cases, actually, we, we do have a great blog post right now uh, that we'll also put down below that shows you how to connect gateways from old to new. Uh, and that's actually pretty important because um, you know if you've already got things deployed in the classic way, being able to connect it to the resource manager way is pretty important. And the last thing, which I will uh, talk just a moment about, we are working on migration support. So being able to take classic support and move it straight over to here, it is something we'll be talking a little bit more about uh, later this year. Uh, you'll see some, some details on that start bubbling up of, of sort of the ability to do that. Uh, we're working pretty hard on that to make sure that it's very seamless and easy to do. So, that's kind of the story. I wanted to give you a, a good rundown on this. Obviously, I'd love to hear your feedback, some comments, uh, recommendations, um, areas that we could improve here. But I thought it'd be good to kind of lay this out for you since we have gotten a bunch of questions and kind of draw this picture for you. We'll give you updates as these things start coming, uh, moving over here, um, and uh, make sure that we get this updated as we go so that this content doesn't, doesn't get stale, because uh, I'm never stale. Uh, and <clears throat> we'll take care of that. Next week, We've got some really, really great stuff coming up. Uh, I'm not going to reveal who's on the show, but it will be a fun one. He has great hair and is quite tall, um, and uh, that's, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, and so with that, uh, uh, if there's any questions that you may have for Mark or me, uh, oops. Uh, please go ahead and send them ahead of time at, um, at hashtag Azure TWC uh, and send that over and uh, we'll definitely take care of those questions uh, when, when we get to it next week. So uh, looking forward to see those questions. Hopefully this was helpful um, and uh, uh, glad to always see you on Tuesday. So thanks so much for your time. Have a great week. See you next week. Bye-bye. Got it. Got it. Anytime. Okay. All right. We'll make this. Uh, we'll make this a real, a, a pretty good one. Because next week we could. Right. I was so. Say, do you want? When is? Be? Recording. I don't know if I'm able to edit them in time. You, you, you should edit one, right? At least edit one as fast as I can. Okay. The, it's next Monday, right? Is you that can, Monday? You can announce it. You is can that Monday? Guess next week. Yeah. Is that Monday? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm.